Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca and here on my channel I usually talk about uh, perfumes but sometimes here and there I do occasional vlogging and also uh, I talk about some of my favorite makeup or like skincare. Today again I thought I would do like my updated version of lip products that I've been loving loving for the past a few months. I did do my all-time favorite lipsticks some months back but since then I have uh, bought some few more lipsticks and lip products that I've been loving so much and I thought I would share them with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first lipstick that I'm going to be talking about right now has to be one of my most used lipstick, okay? And it is my Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Sellout. And this is how the bottle looks. It's a very, very beautiful packaging. This lipstick is not just like a pretty lipstick, okay? <laughs> the formula is also like so comfortable that you do not feel like you have anything on your lips. And uh, I got this in October of 2023. And since then, I have not put this down, okay? I've like, this has been one of my most used lipstick ever in my collection. But when I got this, I did not realize that I had another lipstick, which was like a similar, somewhat similar to each other, okay? And that one is my Smashbox Gulabe. And I've already done like a detailed, uh, review of this one you can check it out i'll link it up here somewhere but smashbox gulabe and sellout are pretty much similar okay it's just the only difference that i found is uh gulabe falls under the like on the plum um mauve plummy side whereas sellout falls under the pinkish brownish side that's the only difference between the shades but they pretty much look alike when you wear it um, and the biggest difference between these these two has to be the formula because smashbox gulabi whenever i apply it i have to apply like a lip balm beneath it because it horribly horribly dries my lips nonetheless it's a very beautiful shade and i love it and i've been using this for years but too faced sell out you do not require lip balm it is like comfortable on its own it does not dry out your lips both are like transfer proof both are like um long wear both are very very comfortable they are not sticky and i love both these shades as you can see this lipstick is a very very beautiful lipstick the shade is so pretty it falls in the pinkish nude uh, side and uh, it's a very very comfortable lipstick it's matte and it's also transfer proof only if you eat or you drink it starts fading but then uh, it's like a normal thing for any liquid lipsticks but if you do not eat or drink it stays put and it will not budge and it's a very very comfortable uh, formula so because of the comfort level i think that is why i've been using this so much so if you are someone who is looking to buy this or if you've had this lipstick on your wish list for a long time i think this is your sign to go and get this one because it's like you will not regret this. This is one of the most beautiful lipsticks I have had in my collection and I love, love, love it. So this one is my Too Faced Melted Matte Sellout. Love it. Highly recommend it. The next two lipstick that I'm going to be talking about right now are from Huda Beauty and it is their uh, liquid matte in the shade Icon and Baby Doll and these are the two lipsticks. Uh, these also are something that I've been using quite frequently over the, the past uh, few months. I wanted to try the new formula because Huda I think even mentioned that she took in all the reviews or all the things that the customers had to say and she put them in use and then they reformulated the formula i needed to try one of the lipsticks but because there was a sale going on i got two for the price of one and the shade i have here is icon and baby doll um the first shade that i'm gonna show you is um icon so this is icon on my lips and as you can see it's a very very beautiful shade this is more of a rusty pink shade it's more of a darker pink but it falls on the rusty terracotta kind of a shade is what this is brickish kind of a pink is what this is and this icon i think it suits all skin tone these two compared to sell out i feel like i i know and i feel that i have lipstick on my lips okay whereas for um two faced melted man it did not feel like i have lipstick lipstick on my lips nonetheless this is also a very lightweight it's not like a heavy lipstick but compared to this one i know that i have lipstick on my lips okay so that's the only feeling difference that i found otherwise these lipsticks are amazing the formula is great long lasting only if you eat or you drink it starts fading otherwise it does not budge so let me try this 
Oh, this is also transfer proof. I thought it would slightly <laughs> be transferring, but this is again transfer proof. I loved formula. Mm, it dries out to be a very, very um, matte lipstick. And I even think that Huda, this one is vegan or something. I'm not sure. Okay, I have to check. But I think I heard somewhere that Huda lips, uh, lip products are vegan. So there's again that plus point. And beautiful beautiful shade rusty pink um a little bit of a darker deeper color is what i feel this is falls a little bit on the reddish reddish kind of a shade but i love love this shade suits so all skin tone love it this is icon the next shade that i'm going to be trying now is baby doll again from huda as you can see this is more of a bubble gummy barbie pinkish kind of a shade and it's beautiful beautiful but i feel like this is not going to suit all skin tone this is mostly for fair to medium skin tone people but if you use like a lip liner or something it might work i'm not sure but if you're someone who um whose uh, skin tone is similar to mine then as you can see it this is how it looks on my skin tone i fall more on on the paler fairer skin group so this is how it looks on me it's very flattering and i feel like this is more of a spring summer lipstick for me and uh, this is giving me cockett vibes as well formula is a little bit sticky i feel okay like as i do this can you see it's a little bit sticky it's not as sticky as the maybelline liquid lipstick but this one is also a little bit sticky which was not the case for me with uh, uh smashbox or uh, Too faced liquid lipsticks not like an uncomfortable sticky but a little bit sticky but otherwise the formula is very very comfortable and the shade is very very beautiful so if you are someone who is looking to get like a pink bubble gummy barbie kind of a coquette kind of a lip shade then i think baby doll is the one for you and uh, this is like a very beautiful shade i love it highly highly recommend it go grab it the next lipstick that i'm going to be talking about is from a brand that is very near and dear to me because this was the first brand that i ever used in my life so this brand i've been using since i was in college like before that i've never i had never ever used like any kind of makeup so that was when i started my makeup journey and uh, since then this brand has been like the most used i've bought a lot and a lot of products from this brand and it is a drum roll maybelline that i'm talking about and the lipstick that i have here is their ulti matte lipstick and this is how the packaging looks like and uh, the shade that i have here is more taupe yeah 799 more taupe and this shade i believe was a very viral shade on the internet some while back and rightfully so because the shade and the formula is so 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 beautiful this is like more of a chocolatey brown shade and the formula omg i have to say this it is the most comfortable formula i have ever ever used before this i have like used used and applied a lot of lipsticks and my lips were feeling dry but as soon as i applied this now my lips are not feeling dry at all okay i don't know whether they have some kind of a moisturizing ingredient in it i really haven't checked that but my lips are feeling moisturized like a soft pillowy cushiony satiny feel this lipstick would suit all skin tone and it's like your all season lipstick okay and i think this because this is like so inexpensive and so affordable like college school like anywhere you go you can wear this and make this like your everyday lipstick like run an errand go to groceries anywhere okay because this is my everyday lipstick i have been using this like so much whenever i have to go somewhere even when i'm at home and i'm like uh, i feel like i need to apply lipstick when i have guests coming <laughs> over i use this one okay so this is this beautiful brown chocolatey brown shade and if you are someone who's trying to get a brown shade then i think you should go and get this one because it is like worth it okay like so worth it the last two products that i'm going to be talking about right now are something that i was so not interested in i did know of their existence but it was something that I never ever thought I'd buy or like I thought they would suit me or like I don't know I was never interested in them okay so the ones that I'm talking about are lip tints and the ones that I have with me are from Etude House they're fixing tint and I have two products there was a pink love sale going on in Nika and there was the amazing deal of buy one get one and uh, the one that i ordered was this one uh, the salmon brick and the one that i got for free was cranberry plum and both the shades are like amazing amazing shade 
even better than the shades are the formula okay because of the formula i have forgotten my lipsticks depending on the clothes that i'm wearing i've been switching it up between these two shades i think um, there is no turning back from for me from this point onwards i will not be purchasing lipsticks i feel okay because of the weather in the place that i live in right now is sometimes very very hot sometimes it's very very humid and i have very oily skin especially because i wear masks still um the lipsticks sometimes they do not they are not like durable for the whole day okay it's not like wearable some are like uncomfortable some keep smudging uh they transfer in my mask like something or the other there is an issue with lipsticks but these lip tints they do not budge and even if you wipe them out there is like a tint left behind because of which you have color in your lips and these two are highly highly pigmented as you can see the shade cranberry plum it's like a very plummy mauvey kind of a shade but in a very subtle way okay this is like a matte lip product lip tint and because it dries down and then it's like nothing on your lips it's like you are not wearing anything on your lips this formula is so amazing so long lasting like when i say long lasting for lipsticks their duration is like maybe seven to eight hours right if that is without you eating or drinking anything but these lip tints i mean entire day and if you don't remove your makeup with a micellar water or a makeup remover they will last you the next day as well if you sleep with your lipstick on or with your makeup on they are gonna be there like even if you remove the outer part let me show you like can you see can you see the tint it's like there intact okay so because of this staying power of this lip tint i have been wearing these only very very flattering suits all skin type like suitable for summer like extreme summer humid place also this lip tint highly highly recommended the next one i have here is salmon brick and this is again another shade that i'm in love with i have been calling this particular shade my lips but better okay because this is exactly like my shade my lip shade but it's so much better it's like this brickish kind of a brown nudish kind of a shade but also like a hint of Mm, pink is what it has but it's like so subtle blurry effect is what this gives and i love that about it it is very long lasting and it is so comfortable nothing on your lips it is like beautiful beautiful shade even if you're at home you can just wear this lip tint and stay at home okay it's like that good and it will not dry out your lips i think lip tints are the ones to go because they are very very long wearing and they do not budge they are transfer proof you can see for yourself they are transfer proof they are long lasting they are so comfortable the formula the shades are so beautiful i don't think i've ever finished a lip product in a year but with these two if i constantly <laughs> apply it like i've been applying for the past two weeks i might finish both of them within this year okay so maybe i can again try another shade from this range i'm keeping these especially for summers because they are going to be like the most used, the most loved product in my collection. Both the shades, Cranberry Plum and Salmon Break are amazing, amazing. So if you are looking for a lip tint that is not just beautiful but comfortable, I think these are the ones to go for. Love, love them. I highly, highly recommend them. So that was it for my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then kindly like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. And I will see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye.